From news of renewals and pregnancies to dating rumors, and April's not joining a new agency to resume her career as an actress, the K-drama industry has been sizzling hot with news lately, so let's get started right away. Actress Park han has happy news for everyone else, though I wonder if it was the best decision. On May 31st, Mail Business Newspaper reported that Park han is in the seventh month of her second pregnancy, with her due date being in August. She has been married to the former CEO of Yudi Holdings for five years now and gave birth to their first child in April of 2018. But in 2019, when the Burning Sun scandal blew up in Korea, it was revealed that her husband Yoo Min Sok had quite a big involvement in it and pleaded guilty to all charges in June of 2020. Han Byul then sold off all the assets the couple had in Seoul and moved her family to Jeju Island, where she has been hiding from the public for the past two years. She has been running a cafe in Jeju, which has become a hot spot, and started being active on Instagram again, giving signs that all is good and well between her and her husband. Netizens have also been wondering if she's just testing the waters to see how the public will react if she decides to come back to the industry as an actress, seeing as her last drama Love and Sadness was heavily boycotted following her husband's accusations. So now, considering the charges Yu In Sok pleaded guilty to, and the fact that she's having a second baby with him will make it harder for her to come back without netizens bashing her. Congratulations to her either way. While we have talked about the possibility of Netflix renewing All of Us Are Dead for a second season, it's all been speculation. Well, until now. On May 27th, Netflix revealed the poster for the event Geeked Week 2022, which lasts from June 6th to June 10th. It's an online live event which is held by Netflix to show the still cuts of its original works, present the trailers of their upcoming shows, give us news about possible new seasons, and interview the actors. One of the shows that's seen on the poster is All of Us Are Dead, which may hint that we'll finally get news of a renewal. The new season is expected to be revealed to the public on the very first day of the event, which has netizens all the more excited. A comment about the event said, I think they had better release the second season quickly since there have been so many hints. I support that statement wholeheartedly. It's been too long for us not to have any updates. Honey E gave the performance of a lifetime and she did it while being pregnant. She recently did a photo shoot for Vogue and showed her adorable baby bump in a series of stunning pictures. On the reason why she agreed to this photo shoot that hasn't been done before by any Korean celebrity, Honey E said, I wanted to show that women's body are this miraculous. At the same time, I wanted a new direction that isn't typically seen. She also said that she doesn't want to share some kind of special message, she just wants pregnant women to feel as confident about themselves as she does. She said, I mean stuff like how pregnant women can wear what they want and view themselves as attractive. I don't intend to convey some kind of ambitious message, but I think I could become a bit of encouragement to those going through the same situation. Honey E revealed that she actually found out that she was pregnant while she was filming for her latest drama, Won the Woman, but this didn't make her back out from filming, even with all the action scenes she had to do. In fact, she said that it only inspired her to work harder because she'd give birth to a healthy, strong baby. She shared, I filmed action scenes even while pregnant. I really wanted to faithfully fulfill my role as an actress, and I also thought that through the strong prenatal education in a safe environment, I'd be able to give birth to a Wonder Woman or Wonder Man. Since we overcame all that, won't I give birth to a really healthy baby? Along with Won the Woman, three other films that Honey E has starred in are set to premiere in the next few years. She compared giving birth to a celebrity showing their work, saying, I think an actor showing their work is similar to giving birth. After holding on to it well, I'm so excited to show it to the world. Since I'm awaiting birth and will be showcasing three projects one after another, I feel three times as happy. But is she going to return to work anytime soon after giving birth? To this she answered, I don't feel rushed yet. I want to spend a sufficient amount of time with my child. And I film multiple projects in advance. I'm thinking that I'll be good to return around the first half of next year, since I can't lose my sense of acting. Wishing her all the best. Speaking of actors making comebacks, there are rumors flying around that Lee Na Eun is also coming back. Ever since the April members were accused of mistreating their own member, Na Eun wasn't exactly booked since nobody was eager to work with an actress that was facing such serious accusations. While the group officially disbanded in January of this year, and the victim and perpetrators in the case were never cleared, it was safe for Na Eun to slowly come back in the industry, as people had forgotten about the whole thing and would welcome her back. Currently, Na Eun is in talks to join Namu actors and continue her career as an actress rather than remain a K-pop idol. On April 28th, it was reported that Na Eun is thinking of signing with the agency, which is the label behind actors like Lee Dunki, Park Eun Bi, and Girls' Generation Sohyun. An industry insider revealed for the media, Na Eun has contacted various actor agencies, including Namu actors. She seems to be preparing to 
become an actor, not an idol or solo singer. But how true or correct are these reports? Namu actors themselves responded to the rumor saying, It's true we've recently contacted Naun. However, nothing has been decided yet regarding whether or not she'll be joining. The thing is, is that these reports were made a few months ago, but it seems like they finally come to a conclusion. The president of the company recently followed Naun on his personal Instagram account, basically confirming that an agreement has been made between the two and that Naun will start getting cast in dramas once again. Some criticized the agency for their decision to take Naun in, writing comments like, There are so many other aspiring actors. Why do they need to sign with Naun? And I thought Namu actors said they believe people's character is the most important. There are also netizens who are awaiting her comeback and want to see her back on the screen once again. Suzy is returning to the small screen and people can't wait to see her once again. It's been two years since Suzy was in a drama and she's coming back with a very intriguing role. Anna, Suzy's new drama, is a thriller directed by Lee Zhu Young, who's the brilliant mind behind the 2012 movie On the Other Side of You. We'll see Suzy as the main character, Yumi, a woman whose small, innocent lie leads her to leaving someone else's life. Her character also has Ripley Syndrome, which is a psychological condition that causes a person to confuse themselves about their personality. Coupon Play, the production company for the drama, released a poster of the drama, which has Suzy posing gorgeously with the other sides of her portraying different emotions. This makes fans think that Suzy will give an outstanding performance as Yumi, since the character is complicated in dealing with a serious personality disorder. It's also been a while since Suzy has portrayed darker, more serious roles, so the excitement for her appearance in Anna is literally through the roof. Make sure to tune in for the drama's first episode on June 24th. The happy news just won't stop coming today. After Park Shin Hye and Choi Tae Jun tied the knot this past January after marking four years of dating, they've recently welcomed their own little bundle of joy. On May 31st, the agency behind Park Shin Hye Salt Entertainment released a statement announcing that she had given birth to the couple's first child and both the mother and child are healthy. The statement reads, Actress Park Shin Hye gave birth to a healthy boy today at a hospital in Seoul. Both Park Shin Hye and her son are in good health and both are resting well with Choi Tae Jun and their family and friends. Congratulations to the happy couple. Either Jo Seho is actually dating someone and is enjoying teasing the curious fans about it, or he's just playing around with everyone because he's been hinting towards his love life a lot lately. He made a post on social media on June 1st writing, Good morning, Jo Seho, and added cheekily, If you're the sun in the sky, I don't want night to come. If you're the moon in the sky, I don't want morning to come. But he isn't the only one who's teasing curious netizens, as his fellow comedians keep joining in the fun and adding even more confusion. Lee Guk Ju asked in the comments, are you dating? While Lee Sung Yup replied to him, Seho Hyung is in big trouble. Everyone basically keeps telling us that Seho's in a happy relationship right now that his friends are very supportive of, so all there's left to do is congratulate the happy couple. What are your thoughts on this? Share them in the comments. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!